Today we're going to talk a little bit about tendons and tendon pain. Uh, now why is that important? Essentially because we have quite a few clients who come to see us at No More Niggles to help get on top of tendon related problems. And you know what? Tendons are tricky. Tendons are really tricky to sort out. Um, so what is a tendon, first of all? So for those of you who don't know, a tendon basically attaches muscle to bone or to joint capsule. So if I show you with my trusty props here, um, so just looking at this book, this is the calf muscle here, and then Achilles tendon coming down and onto the heel. All right. And if we look at the foot, my trusty foot, <laughs> uh, we've got heel bone here, and then this is the back of the leg, the bones at the back of the leg. Calf muscle sits here at the back, and Achilles tendon attaches between the calf complex onto the heel bone or calcaneum. Okay, now we've got the anatomy out of the way. So, tendons. A little bit more about them. Um, they have uh, a lot of collagen content within them. They don't have a lot of blood supply, which is why they don't heal very well. Um, they don't respond very well to rapid changes in load. So... Who gets tendon problems? Well, really anyone can get a tendon-related problem. You can have an acute um, tendonitis. You can also tear a tendon, but you can also irritate the sheath or the wrapping around the tendon, and that can cause a lot of pain and discomfort. And then you can also end up with more of a degenerative or a chronic problem with a tendon if um, the acute stuff is not addressed. So tendons are really tricky to deal with. Um, how do you know that you might have a tendon problem? Well, usually uh, you will have morning pain and stiffness. So for instance, if your Achilles tendon is a problem, so down around your heel area, you wake up in the morning, you go to put your feet on the floor and you go to stand up, and you go, oh, geez, my heel's still really sore. Okay. But then once you start walking around a little bit on it and you, uh, you warm it up, it actually goes away. The pain tends to go away. So that is indicative of a tendon related problem. Also, um, usually what will go with it is you will be able to point to the area with one finger. You'll be able to point to your heel and I'll just throw my leg up. So you'll be able to go, that's right there. That is the bit that hurts. Or you'll be able to pinch it and go, it's right there. That's the bit that hurts. So it's usually really, really localized. Um, and the other thing is, it, as I've already touched on, it's usually, uh, it usually comes on when you've had a rapid increase in load. So say you decided that you wanted to run a marathon, you hadn't been doing very much running, and you jumped your loading up really, really quickly, that is likely to create um, a bit of a problem with tendons. Okay, so how can we help? Remedial massage and soft tissue therapists would be able to help you in a number of ways. So if you've got an acutely inflamed tendonitis, Typically, you're not going to massage directly on the inflamed tissue, but you can massage using a variety of appropriate techniques. You can massage the adjacent muscles to reduce the amount of tension and the amount of compression on the tendon. Um, you could also um, work on the joints around the area. You could tape the area with K-tape or rock tape or dynamic tape, whatever you've got or whatever your therapist can do in that space. If they're trained in that area, then they can certainly... Um, apply some tape and that will offset the amount of stress on that tendon. Um, they could rigid tape it as well, just depends on the skill set of the therapist. Um, in addition, if it is a degenerative type of problem, a chronic problem with the tendon, then if you apply some techniques, some really specific techniques to the area um, where the pathology is, then you can actually um, cause a bit of a, a stimulus for the tissue to heal. So remember, there's not great blood supply. So massage therapy, so frictioning on, directly on the tendon, um, even dry needling into the tendon or the sheath um, where the, you've got the degenerative issue going on, that can create enough trauma to the area to invoke a healing response. And that's what we're after. We're after more blood supply. We, we really want to get the immune system kicking in and start to heal that tissue up. Um, the other thing that a remedial massage therapist or soft tissue therapist can do is give you appropriate guidance around how to load the tissue. So just massaging it 
will not fix it. It's really important to note that you need an appropriate exercise program that goes hand in hand with your soft tissue intervention, which is your massage intervention. So if your massage therapist isn't equipped to give you appropriate exercises to do to help manage this problem and progress it, then they need to be referring you to somebody else who can help in that space. So it might be a physiotherapist, a sports physiotherapist, an exercise physiologist, could even be a strength and conditioning coach if they're well-versed in dealing with tendinopathies. So um, that would be the approach um, that your remedial massage therapist or soft tissue therapist should be following with tendons. There is so much more that we can talk about on tendons. If you would like some help in this space, if you think you've got a tendon problem, you need some guidance, by all means, get in touch. Our, uh, our details are on the website, nomorenickles.com.au, or you can put some comments below and, uh, and we'll get back to you.